Originally titled Glass Soldier, Sin and Punishment developed by Treasure, the same people who brought us Mischief Makers for the Nintendo 64 and the insanely awesome Gunstar Heroes for Sega Genesis back in the day, comes Sin and Punishment for the Nintendo 64, released in Japan in 2000. Sin and Punishment is a non-stop action rail shooter with a high import demand and it's well worth it too. In Sin and Punishment, the levels are designed to move the character on screen for you, similar in fashion to the classic Space Harrier. This leaves you free to shoot and blow up everything in sight. You can lock on to your targets for better aim, and when enemies are getting up close and personal, you can use an energy sword to kill them all. Sin and Punishment uses a unique combat system. When engaging in battle, there is a timer that counts down. Once the timer reaches zero, you will start to lose health until you can replenish the timer. A game this awesome is a must play and will have you modding your American Nintendo 64s in a heartbeat. Or if you don't have a Nintendo 64 to mod, American gamers with a Wii can download this amazing game via the Wii Virtual Console for 1200 Wii points. Nintendo announced in a recent press conference that fans of the game can look forward to Sin and Punishment 2 coming out in 2009 for the Nintendo Wii in Japan and the US. Well, that's all the time we have for today. But if you do have questions or comments, or you'd like to subscribe to Video Game Trader magazine, go online, www.videogametrader.com. I'm your host, Rachel Weinstein. And I'm Jim Combs. Be sure to join us next time on Video Game Trader TV, keeping classic video games alive. Well, here it is, to blood and guts, faceless nurses, and skinless dogs. And a pyramid head. Right. Cheers! <laughs>